Hello, viewers, and welcome to Decidedly Vanilla. Oh, boy. Um, this sure isn't modded. <laughs> as I walk around and I jump, and I re I'm, I'm not jumping twice as high like in Decidedly Neapolitan, and I'm realizing I don't have a hammer tool that I can use to take out a 3x3. Three three. I'm slightly saddened, but at the same time, the simplicity of this world is fantastic. And even with the simplicity of it, compared to modded, of course, there's still so many things that we have done, crazy things, uh, together as a team on the server, and it's amazing. Oh my gosh, it sounds like a goodbye letter. No, it's not a goodbye letter. Absolutely not. <laughs> I am getting super sick of this base, and... I decided, well, if I'm going to go start a new base, then what I need to do is finish this up and treat it more like a a decorative build where it it's not necessarily it doesn't necessarily have to have actual function, but it should look like it has actual function. And as I thought about that, I'm like I can just do that and still keep this as my base. And the main reason, the main reason I don't really want to make a new base is this this storage room. Not that it's super fantastic. I mean, it looks nice. I like it. I'm kind of learning where stuff is. I don't use the the frames with the items because I like I like the items that would show up flat on a frame, like this, or this, or these guys. But I don't like how the blocks work in the frames. Now, if you could place this in a frame and it just looked like that flat, I would love it. But it doesn't. It sticks out. It's like, ooh, it's through, like this. Now, it's okay with this head, I think. But the other, I, I, I don't like the way it looks. And technically, supposedly, it's more laggy. And we just, we have to be aware of things like that here. Um, yeah, I've done a lot of work so far, yet nothing to show for it. I had a bunch of uh, dump chests here which have been sorted into the various chests. And I went down to the cavern that I filled with uh, grass and the cool lava feature and the bridge. And I moved all the lava up here. These chests are double chest and they're full, except for the last one. I don't know what I would ever need with all that lava, but I have it. So I wanted to, I wanted to just start Let's do the planning phase. Let's do the planning phase together. I'm looking for my signs, or at least some of the planning phase. And maybe let's build one or two things together. I don't know why I do this. I should just go like this and then like that. <laughs> That's what I'm going for. So we start at the portal. Because honestly, I have an entrance way over there, but most people are going to come to my facility through this portal. So right as you walk out of the portal, there's gonna be an information center, something we need to build. Let's try to get this done today. And we have Chloe McChloe and Brian, who does not have a name above his head, which we will fix. We have this beautiful natural feature, which is nice. And then to the left, we have what is eventually the main entrance. And to the right, we have what goes down to the storage facility. Now, who's going to be visiting us? What is this base for? What is its purpose? And who would be visiting us? This is a training center, a place that... Uh, we'll take on minions, offer employment to people who want to work for me. It will, it, let's see, it'll train them for battle. It will train them for good business sense. It will train them for anything you need to know to be a good minion. So the information center is, this is going to be to kind of get new recruits. Now most people, most minions, are going to come in here and they're going to be like, oh, yeah. And they're going to say, how you doing? I'm fine. Oh, she's a girl, so she'll be like, Hi! Uh, what would our minion name be? 
Um, Larry. We're Larry the Minion. And we walk. We're not, we're not as tall as normal. So we'll go down like this. And we, we're not as fast. And, and we don't bob up and down when we walk. We kind of slide. Maybe we're one of these guys. They kind of fit all those things. So we come in. Do, 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 do. Well, hello, Larry. Hi, Chloe McChloe. How you doing? You know, you don't have to say my last name. I, I, I know. I, I just like your name, and I can see it above your head. Well, I don't call you Larry McLarry. Well, that, that's not my name. Well, it, it might be. You don't know. Well, that's true. You can't see the name above your head. I know. Why do you remind me of this every day? Because every day you call me Chloe McLoy. Uh, I'm just going to go to work. Okay, have a good day. So that's what happens normally. But occasionally you have, uh, oh, I don't know, Logan come in here. Dirt, 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 dirt. I'm in B-Ran's base and I don't know which way to go. I'm so confused. It's a cave system. I get lost in caves. I don't have a direction sense in this place. Well, hello there, Mr. Uh, L Logan Mango. L what do I call you? <laughs> I don't have a name, and I changed my name to L L L L L. I don't know why. It's embarrassing. It's kind of a long story. Hey, I don't know which way to go. Can you help me? Well, sure. What are you here for? Uh, I want to give B Ran a gift. Well, then you just go to the gift giving center. Okay. What if I'm here to give B Ran a a a prank? Well, then you go to the prank gifting center. You you have a prank gifting center? Oh yeah, it's just straight over there into that lava pit. Okay. And then he walks in the lava pit and dies, and it's amazing. Okay, so now, now that we've we've done that, we've decided we need a place for employees to go, and we need a place for people to go to jump into a lava pit. Hmm. Yes. So we'll need. <laughs> Let's see. Let me plan this out. We have here the main entrance, the grand entrance, and underneath, underneath is our vault, currently the Vault of Fun, and it's there to kind of show off my wealth, and directly you're greeted with a very strong, imposing looking guy. This is, this is great. This is the first appearance we want to make. This is for outsiders, uh, mostly big wigs, other, other minion not minions, other overlords that are coming over to visit our facility to kind of see what we do. So they need a nice, grand welcome. The other entrance, the portal, it's kind of like the back door. It's where the employees are going to come in. But this is this is to show off our wealth, to show off our power, to show off our strength. And it's kind of carved right into the ground, but not completely, in order to kind of show off uh, and over this way is the little, the miniature prison, which I've shown on camera before, but let's go down. And this is kind of a way, if we got some trouble with some people, they can just be locked down here. Now, we would probably never lock our own minions down here. This is more for outsiders who are causing us issues, and we teach them a lesson, and then and then after they've served their time, we can release them back in the wild, and hopefully by then they'll have learned their lesson and leave us alone. But we also have it right there in the beginning. It's kind of just like a display of our own power. Um, health and safety complaint. Oh, that's because of the dirt, and it falls down on your head a little bit if you... Well, don't hit it! Okay, we might have to take care of this, because... Like, I, I'm just talking about first impressions and really impressing people coming to our facility, and then we have this. Uh, okay. So you come down here, and right away is our brag board. Our brag board should be stuff that shows off our prowess as a facility and the great things that we have done. Um, I, I don't know that that's what this is. These are kind of just, like, gifts and some random key items that happen. So we might swap this stuff out for some other things but these will all be safe and secure somewhere uh, this is like a little employees only thing so we're gonna get some kind of secure door here this is my spawn point as a player I have to have a spawn point and that's what this is so we need to keep that garden keep it safe you can see a hole dug underneath from 
a previous incident where someone tried to TNT me. What a bad person that dinosaur egg guy was. So here we have the vault. Beep, bop, bop, boop. Okay, I pressed the button as far as you know. We might want to convert this out of from the Vault of Fun, but I love the Vault of Fun. So we come over here. Do, 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 do. And so the main people brought into our facility come through here. I think we need to spruce this up a bit. Uh, decorate hallway, right? Yeah, we need to spruce this up a bit. And then as far as outsiders coming to visit, this is probably as far as they'll get. They will go to the meeting room, directly to the meeting room, where we will sit down and we will have our, our business meeting. Beyond the meeting room is this place. And I, I don't know. We have the auto melon and we have the auto potioner and we have a lot of like left and right and I don't know. There's a lot of stuff here. Um, I'm not sure how to work it in. I think it would be best if this was actually closed off. This is, this is the meeting room. That's all this is. And I don't know why that's there. It's probably from Dolan back way, way long ago. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the meeting room. And all that stuff, it's not gone forever. We'll find a way to connect to it. So then, if people want to dive deeper into my base, then they would go this way. This is going to be a private personal. This is going to be another like high-level employee only. Yeah, so just for me, my personal cart, my kind of back entrance to this place. This facility is connected to the outside, and it's where we capture zombies that have the potential to be turned into villagers. And so that's what all that is. So we can decorate that, but that'll all come from a different perspective. Right now, we're from the perspective of people visiting our facility. So then they come down, and this is very grand, and this is very nice, and they get to see this, so that kind of shows off more of our facility, like, oh my gosh, wow, they're, they're so advanced, they're doing crazy things. Um, this I was just natural. I never did anything with it, though. So that can just be sealed off. We could store something secret in there, I suppose. And you come down into the main facility, and this is just, this opens up really nice. Um, we have over to the portal and then we can finish visiting the rest of the facility. Here we'll have an information center. So even people from the outside can get some help on where to go. And yeah. And so it's coming in. The new employees would go this way. They'd come over here. This is where you're going to get your training armor. So this is the little auto armor facility that never works because every time I get a, another cow down here, it seems to die. <laughs> but, but whatever. You, you press the button and you get the armor and you wear the official B-Ran minion outfit and you can wash it off and you can get more dyes. I need to get some more flowers. Let's see. Oh, oh, and here, the ever-watching IAB ran. We need to post more of these. These are going to kind of be like our little security sentry post things. So from some central location, we should have access to, to look through these like they're cameras. And then this will be the mining pit. This is... Whoop, ouch. You put the beacon there, and, you, you know, this is the speed mining place. But we could put minions... To work down here as part of their initial training just you know breaking some stone why not that's a that's a good basic minion training we want to get their strength up and so i'm thinking along the lines of what would we want to train the minions to do so the mining pit is one thing basic armor is another um 
some sort of training here. Now don't don't look at what's I, I say comment below. What do you think we should do? Don't look at this necessarily and think, oh, they need to do something with melons or pumpkins. Now, what would a minion need to increase? They need to increase their strength and endurance, so the mining pit is good for that. They need to slightly increase their intelligence. Not too much, so coming at a place like this, uh, it's kind of an auto dispensary, but they could also take the armor, they could craft it themselves, they could so they could learn some basic some basic defensive stuff here. But maybe they need to, to uh, learn more about defense or maybe learn more about offense. But maybe we don't want to mess with offense right away. Offense seems more like a, a more advanced thing. And so that seems like it should be deeper in the base. So some sort of basic training something that we could turn this area into. Right now it's just got my bunnies. Hi bunnies! I need to work them into the base somehow too. Yeah, so base planning. I I didn't think that that's what we're going to do this episode, but um, this is good. Kind of lay it all out, figure out what we want. Uh, this will be the more advanced area. So we still have this very nice looking area down here. I do still think it would be good if we could turn this into some sort of gauntlet. It doesn't have to actually be usable, but to make it look like this is where people train. Uh, the more advanced Maybe this is where they train to break into houses. I, I don't know. we got to teach them somehow. And we have the, the cafeteria and the dining room. And then... Oh, hello. And then after all this, we should work out some sort of advanced training areas. So we got some basic stuff and a general area for people to just practice in on their free time. Yes, on their free time they should be training. And some basic stuff. So I like I like that I'm getting this worked out in my head and with you guys so you can give feedback and, and suggestions. Cuz we should we should get this base to a point where we can call it final. Just to say it's complete, just so I can have another project that's new. My problem is I start a lot of things and I just I feel like I don't really get a lot of them done. Some of them I do, but anyway. Let's, it's about the time to wrap up the video, but let's let's do some building off camera. I'll do some building off camera. You go into my, you pause the video, load up a copy of Minecraft, do some building in creative. Um, look at this. Here, take a screenshot. Like just blink your eyes, make that noise, okay? Build something and post an image below in the comments and I will look at it or tweet it at me if you want. Build what you think would look good in this space. Uh, I'm going to blink away, build it, and come right back and we'll see what I came up with and what you came up with will probably be way better. All right, what do you think? I, I personally don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure what I think. I added the beacon on top, not because I'm incredibly rich and I have beacons to spare, because I don't. That is my one and only beacon. I just, it needed something. But right now, it just, it looks too much like a hamburger, I think. I don't know. I like the different color, the spruce and then the dark oak and then the spruce with the nether and the, the spruce logs, but it just looks too dark against too light. I don't know. I'm gonna look forward to your pictures. I imagine I might get at least one, <laughs> but even if you just post in the comments below, hey, uh, try doing this, that'd be greatly appreciated. But that'll be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and just walking around my base. We didn't really do anything, but you kind of helped me by letting me spend time talking at you to, to plan some stuff out. And we can start working on it next episode. But also, tell me, tell me stuff below uh, what you think would look good in this place and what I can do to help this thing look better. 
And maybe, maybe, uh, Ovi, wink, wink, would like to come by and help me design the shapes and stuff. Yeah, and there's Brian, by the way. Hey, Brian. I don't know that he talks ever. <laughs> but, uh, let's say the, the usual stuff. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.